Hi, I'm Jacob Wagner. In this video, I'm going to show you how the Wiggle effector works in Cloners Plus Effectors. In the scene, I have this cloner set up with 10 clones in a linear cloner. To add a Wiggle effector, I click the Add Effector button. And I change the type from Plain to Wiggle. I'm going to work with Position right now. So I turn on Position, go into Position, and set the Y value to 200. Now we can see that it's going to randomize this, but if we play back the timeline, we can see that it will also animate them. So they're going to be wiggling, and they are of course using this uh, wiggle expression that you might or might not know of uh, in After Effects to, to make them wiggle. The great thing when working with Clonus Effectors is that we have completely control over what's it doing and we can control that on multiple items at the same time. So let's have a look at the settings for this. It's very simple. We have a random seed, so we can get different random results. And then we have a frequency, which essentially is the speed of the wiggle. So if we turn off, turn up the frequency, it's going to go faster and faster. Let's put this down to one again. The absolute value is just as we covered in the other videos. And then we got the sync value, which also works the same as it does on the random effector. So if I turn on scale here, and let's set scale to 100. Now they're going to wiggle both the position and the scale property. Both the position and the scale is going to have its own random system. But if I turn on sync values, they're going to be synchronized. This way, they are always going to be bigger at the bottom and smaller at the top. We can also do that with something like color. So if you turn on color, and go into our color settings, maybe something red to blue. Now they're always going to be blue at the bottom and red at the top. Where if we uncheck sync values, they're all going to have their own random system. So they're not going to be any connection between how they randomize. Okay, so that was everything about the Wiggle Effector. Very easy to use. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.